father Abraham was the most prosperous one in the Bible. Right? It says he prospered to such an extent his health, I mean, the Bible says, until his last day, he had sharp eyesight. Mm -hmm. Everything about him was glowing and shining. Hey, that's one kind of a prophet we need to be, right? Yes. He was not burnt out. He was, he was shining, expanding, and the Bible says everything about Abraham prospered. Everything was so prosperous. That's an anointing. Maybe claim it tonight. I'm telling you, this is... Oh, it's talking about prosperity, my watch. <laughs> this is what I found. We have found the better one in the Bible. <laughs> Listen, there is something. I want to tell you something. I want to stress upon this. God is speaking to us in a, in a, in a mysterious way this evening, but yet so clear. I'm telling you, my message was different. But if you're hearing this, God wants to bless you with prosperity in 2022. Now, don't... Try to shoot me saying you're a prosperity teacher. No, no, no. I can say like this. If you don't want all the wealth, you can give it to me. I'm okay with it. Okay. But our God wants us to prosper. You know something? Ah, God, this is sometimes uncomfortable for me, but I'm going to touch these areas. Are you with me? Are you going to hate me? I don't care. Anyways, it's okay. Abraham was the first one who gave tithes. Did God tell him? Prophet of prophets. Oof. God never asked him, give me something. He gave a tithe. And he said, you take it, God. As if God needs money. God needs tithes. No, God doesn't need it. But why did Abraham do it? Can I show you a principle? In those days, it was not about dollars or rupees or, you know, or, you know all the currencies. It was not about that. In those days, it was about like 100 sheep. Bo you know, like not bottles, gallons of oil, nuts, I don't know, whatever, you know, like it's, it's all those were precious. They traded like that those days, right? God never asked Abraham for tithes, but he began to give. And whatever he did, listen to this, I'm going to say some things. Welcome to being challenged with our theologies, okay? What Abraham did was so high in his standard. Now God says, let's make it a law. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. Now Moses comes, everybody comes and they say, you have to give tithes. Ah, who said that? God? You said God said it. But before God, who did it? Abraham. God was so pleased with Abraham. God is like, ah, if you do like that guy, hey, 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 I have to prosper him like that. And God is like, these people are too stiff necked. They won't do it. So I will make them do it. Are you with me? I don't want to lose you. So this is, this is the heart of God. I want you to get the heart of God. The heart of God is not like he wants tithes. No. God wants to prosper us like the blessing of Abraham. God wants us to prosper like Abraham. But we, oh, we don't want to do anything like Abraham. So God is like, let me make it a law for these people. Let them follow the example of my son Abraham in his footsteps. And if they will follow and do it with obedience, then I will have to bless them like I blessed him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This God is too much of. God is never like he wants. No, no, no. That's not our God. Our God is for us. And he's like, you know what? I want my generations, royal priesthood, holy nation, chosen people to reign, to be the head and not the tail. And I want to rebuke the devourer in their lives. But for that, I want them to be like Abraham because this guy, he was a prophet of prophets. He practiced principles which nobody even told him. And he did it in such a way that God is like, I have to bless him. And God is like, you know what? <clears throat> I want to bless everybody like that. And he's like, do it like Abraham. And it became a law. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, <laughs> welcome to Revelations. This is how the book of Revelation and the Revelation of the Spirit works. 